Welcome back to the channel. This video is on hydrology and we're looking at what an oxbow lake is and how they form and where you would find them along the course of the river. This is the Earth Science Classroom. A river system is separated or divided into three sections, the upper course, the middle course, and the lower course. The middle course is the attention for this video, the focus, because this is where we'll find the Oxbow Lake. The middle course is also called the transition section or area or zone, and the mature area. Now it's different from the other two sections based on the gradient, the slope, the topography, even the rock type could be different, but it's in larger open section of flatter ground or flatter relief in terms of the gradient, the slope, in which the river is going to flow over. Now that's going to change the velocity and the energy of the river, which will change the ratio of erosion versus deposition. Be less erosion and more deposition because of the speed of the water, the gradient and topography. This changes the course of the river and it will start to meander, which means to curve to bend because it will take the fastest route or route down from high elevation to low elevation due to gravity pulling down the water and this will cause the river's course to fluctuate and bend and the large bends in a river are called meanders. Now our Oxbow Lake is found within this part of the river when it starts to meander. When the river meanders, it's going to bend and curve. An oxbow lake is a section of that meander, of that curve or the bend in the river as it flows down through the middle section, the middle course of the system, and it's formed from a change of course. Now, the change of course can be attributed to a change in the discharge of the river, how much water is flowing through the channel at one time. Could be a various flood events or storm events that can cause the change of the river's course. And what will happen is when that large amount of water flows down, it has more energy and it's going to take a faster route or a more direct and linear route, just like it does in the upper course or the upper section of the system and become more linear, more straight, and it will bypass one or two or multiple meanders or bends and make a linear straight course and it will separate that bend from the new course of the river. And this separated an isolated part of the bend that was a meander is called the Oxbow Lake. Now an Oxbow Lake can remain a lake and have water in it as long as the water table and the hydrology and the groundwater and the flow of water into that section of the bend or the meander or the channel is consistent. Or you might have large amounts of evaporation because it's separated from the main river and you might have it dry up over time, leaving a dried out bend or channel where that Oxbow Lake used to be. All depends on the hydrology, the groundwater, the soil, the climate, and any changes in the landscape in terms of tectonics. But these oxbow lakes are fantastic to see from an aerial perspective because you can see where the river used to go and what caused the river to change its direction, change its path, and even have that erosional quality to realign itself to the fastest route downhill. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like and share. And if you want more content and videos on Earth Science, please check out my channel.